Okay, in this video, I'm going to discuss the concept of unit vectors. Now, this video is in conjunction, or works with, with the conjunction with the video I've done on dimensions. So if you're getting confused or things aren't making sense, then look at that video and then look back at this one and things should start to make sense to you. So, what do we know so far? We know that a vector is something which has both magnitude and it's got direction. For example, the vector, uh, if we drew, if we drew our xy plane, our x-axis and our y-axis like this, there's x, there's y, well if this was the vector a and we said the magnitude of a was equal to 5 and we said this here was 40 degrees then it would be a vector a of magnitude 5 direction 40 degrees so it is definitely a vector and well, what dimension does that live in or what axes does that live in and we can look at this and we can look at this and say well look that's pretty simple it lives in the x dimension and the y dimension so it lives in the xy plane yeah we, we know that yes sometimes however it's, it's useful to specifically or to be able to um, to be able to yeah, specify the fact that it is in the xy plane because it could be in other planes so you like I said you'll see this 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 will start to make sense I'm just introducing it now just bear with me and uh, we'll try and get the concept around to you so we know of three dimensions we know of the x sorry the x the x-axis dimension, the y-axis or dimension, and the z-axis or dimension. Now, I'm going to say that there exist three vectors called unit vectors. One is i, one is j, and one is k. If you see i, you're talking with the x-axis. If you see y, you're talking wrong. If you see j, you're talking with the y-axis. And if you see k, you're talking with the z-axis. So, how do, how do you use that? And let's let's look at this. If I draw another plane, now. If I say the vector a is equal to 4i, that means a is a, mag a vector of magnitude 4 and it's in the x-axis. Now, it, it, that gives you its direction because it tells you it's just in the x-axis. Okay, that's the first thing about it. But it's a bit more useful. It's, it just helps you, uh, get, helps you find out where vectors are. So yeah, that tells you its direction and its magnitude. Similarly, 4y, or sorry, 4j or 4k would be uh, suitable vectors. But however, what if I said a was equal to um, 2i plus uh, 4j. And say that vector was here like that. That's the vector a. Well then what axis does that live in? Well, if I mark my axis like this, it tells you that first of all, it's two units in the in the i, uh, i well the x-axis. Bear with me, I'll tell you a bit more about the fact why we just, why we use i. So it's two units in the x-axis and four units in the y-axis, so x and y. So it lives in that the x-y plane, or the uh, yeah the, the Arctic Cartesian plane. However, if for example it had this, if it had four, four k, it wouldn't be there. You'd have to draw in your 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 third dimension, like this. This would be your z dimension or your z-axis. And 2i plus 4k would be 2i, and 4k might be up here somewhere. So it might be along like that. That might be 2i plus 4k. So first of all, it helps you tell you where uh, where the vector lives in, which plane it lives in. Now just actually while we have it, I'll just show you some of the planes. If you had the xy plane, it, the xy plane is this one here. I'm just going to see if I can draw it for you. That's the xy plane like that. You can see that it doesn't involve z at all. It intersects the z plane at zero. Well, what about the x z plane? Well, if this is z, the x z plane is this one here. That's the x z plane. And similarly, wh what about the z y plane? The z, pl z y plane would be here, like that. So, uh, where would be the X, Y, Z volume, it would be all of this. It would be everything. You can see three dimensions there, just like the corner of your wall. Now, I said that the, these are, we're dealing with unit vectors. What does unit mean? Well, unit, unity, equals one. Their magnitude is 
one unit their direction is in the direction of their their is in the direction of their particular axis now so for example we would usually do this we draw our plane like that and we would say we would define we would say i hat is that way and j hat is that j i'll talk about the hat in a minute j is in that direction here now could you could you could you could say that the unit vector is pointing in different directions that's not a big deal but it's it's commonplace to do it this this way all right so now instead of saying x and y we use i and j so we'll say 4i plus 2j now why not say 4x plus 2y well do you know something i actually don't really know why I, I, it's it's just i would say it's just a bit of convention and go with it okay but if you see i you're talking with the x-axis and if you see j you're talking with the y-axis and if you see k you're talking with the z-axis but what's important here is the x-axis doesn't necessarily have a sign now, obviously you know if you were, if you're moving along here and then you cross the origin like say if you said this is plus this is plus this is plus well then this is minus 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 but the x-axis doesn't necessarily have its sign defined but the unit vectors do because look I've said that plus j is up plus i is to the right so if I'm over here sorry if if I'm in here, well then I'm plus i and plus j. If I'm in here, I'm plus, uh, I'm minus i and plus j. If I'm down here, I'm minus minus. And here, I'm minus, uh, minus j, uh, sorry, plus i and minus j, like that. So that gives you a quadrant. So obviously, if you, if you had a vector down here, well then it would be something like, um, it might be 3i minus 2j, something like that. So you know you know it's in the x dimension, but the i will tell you it's positive in the x dimension. You know that it's in the y dimension, but the negative will give you tell you it's negative in the y dimension. All right. Now there's something else which isn't done in school that I can see, but uh, but isn't done in school, but it's definitely done in college. And now like I can see these are vectors, so they're vectors of magnitude 1 okay so that means you can have the arrow on top the line on the bottom or a squiggly line on the bottom so you you you'll usually write uh, my wire was kind of going on me i like that or i like this or i like this one of those three but you always tell it it is a vector and it's a vector of magnitude 1 which means of course that multiplying any other vector by the, the unit vector does nothing to it now what else do we know there's a little thing in college, the, the unit vectors are actually, there's another symbol that goes with them, it's a little hat, and my bio is really killing me today. And you can see that. So that's that's called a hat. So if I say I, and I draw my, my vector sign like that, that would be I hat, that is the I unit vector. This would be J hat, the J unit vector. This would be K hat, uh, my, my bio is really killing me now. This would be k hat, the k unit vector. Now remember, of course, you can have the squiggly line as well. Now, in school, for some reason, all vectors are done with the uh, with the arrow like that. However, you never seem to use the hat. So I, I'll say that when you do go into college, or if you do it, you will always be using hat for unit vectors. So I, I'm going to always write my unit vectors with a little hat like this, and either uh, either the squiggly line or the straight line underneath. So that's the that's the that's. I suppose just a bit about their, their convention. Now, in the Fundamental Applied Maths book, it doesn't really, it, it, it kind of blurs what a dimension and what a unit vector is, because it will say, it will draw its xy, its xy plane, and it will say this is the j-axis and this is the i-axis. Now, that isn't technically correct. This is the x-axis this is the y-axis the x the x-axis has unit vector i and the y-axis has unit vector j so if you see, you will see it happening that in the book i might read out that it's talking about the i-axis however i correct myself and i'll say it's the x-axis 
and the, the corresponding unit vector for the x-axis is the i unit vector. All right, so let's just have a quick look at some other uh, other vectors that we could possibly have. We could have a vector. Um, we could have a vector called c, which is equal to three i hat, three i hat, so three units, three times the i unit vector plus two j hat minus k hat. Now, what does that really mean? Like I said, the unit vector is a, a vector of magnitude 1. So if I draw this, there's i hat, there's j hat. You know something? I'm going to get rid of this k hat here. That's what that means. So three units in the i hat, in the plus i hat, will say I define my... That's plus i, that's plus j, like that. Well then, three i hat would be 1, 2, 3... 3j hat, or 2j has to be 1, 2, and look, there's your vector there. This would be the vector c. Similarly, a vector d equal to uh, minus i hat minus j hat it would be minus 1 in the i hat here, minus 1 in the j hat here. This might be the vector d. So that's why they're called unit vectors, but it, it, they're used just to help you move around the plane or, or on the axes and also to tell you which particular dimensions that you're working in. Obviously if, if you see a k hat well then you know you're working into the z dimension as well. Alright, so uh, just bear, you know, you'll, you'll get a hang of this. It's not, it's not, not vitally important um, it's more the notation as long as you're not scared by the notation. It's, it's, it's quite simple and uh, unit vectors are something you will definitely be getting used to doing applied maths physics or even maths as well. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my videos and uh, pass it on to your friends. Thank you.